Yes, the compact crossover tops yet another list for me, simply because it is so relevant to us and the global car market. Compact SUVs and crossovers are what consumers want, and with the X2 BMW won't just have a stronger rival for its German counterpart models, but also indicates a softening of the design language to be more flowing and organic. Sexy, yes and we definitely want it when it hits production in 2018. Speaking of future design language, the Trezor concept from Renault is definitely very significant. The design overhaul that began a few years ago with the Desert concept comes full circle with the Trezor. Laurens van den Acker's massive transformation of the French brand is obvious, as the Trezor incorporates not just future design cues, but also elements of future autonomous and electric mobility. That Mercedes, Ben sees the need for a sub-brand for future all-electric and yes possibly autonomous vehicles tell us two things. That BMW wasn't wrong after all in staying ahead of the curve with its BMW i brand, and that the Tesla threat is now perceived as very real. Daimler says the Generation EQ concept also points to possible future of design, incorporating LEDs galore inside and out. A 125 kilowatts motor and zero emissions on a golf-sized car for the imminent future. Good way to gain some positive PR after Dieselgate for Volkswagen. The car will not only be like the golf in size, but also stay close on price and performance of the current diesel golf says VW, all expected by 2020. And that's something. The ID is part OVW's strategy 2025 plan though, which means by 2025 it also sees this car use what it calls the ID pilot, making it fully autonomous. A 400 to 600 km range is the true attraction though. Sometimes a concept should really just be all about sheer beauty and not everything else that is undoubtedly more important. And for me the most beautiful concept at Paris was the Infiniti crossover concept. The good news for the brand is that the car is close to the styling expected on its next QX model, largely expected to be a replacement for the QX50. Why should we care? Well for now simply to stare and drool away. It also provides a window to the next QX70 perhaps being just as sexy. The latest concept from arch rival Lexus is the UX that previews a likely Audi Q2 rival. The company has not revealed much about the car, except that it uses spider silk woven kinetic seats that Lexus is developing as what it believes will be the future of car interiors and seating. Looks good though doesn't it? Not quite a show debut at Paris, since it first showed up at the Pebble Beach Concours a few weeks earlier. But the heart is easily swayed by the swooping lines and the gorgeous curves of this concept. The heart-stopping red paint color just adds to it all. The great news is that as outlandishly flamboyant as this car is it is making it T-production and it'll likely rival the likes of the Rolls-Royce Wraith. At nearly 6 meters in length the car's 740 bhp electric powertrain promises a range of 200 kms. Let's see what the production car looks like. Now to some hot hatches, and Hyundai is set to go the R way with a likely N badging instead. The first car showing that direction is the RN30 concept based on the brand new third generation of the i30. The RN30 has a 2.0 liter, 
four-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine with a massive 375 bhp and 451 nm of torque. The car has an all-wheel drive system using a dual-clutch race gearbox. A French show and so the other local manufacturer on overdrive is naturally PSA Peugeot Citroën. The large c experience is a possible Audi A7 rival, and aims squarely at the heart too. The idea is to be outlandishly sexy and yet dare say practical. The concept has been shown with a plug-in hybrid powertrain with an 8-seat auto box. Another car that is likely to hit production and look close to what we saw here, at least on the outside. Oh how we year for the Civic nameplate to return to us. Meanwhile the muscular and very angry looking performance variant of the 10th generation Civic was shown as a concept here in Paris. The car is production ready and should debut next year in Europe. Honda didn't divulge the specs but it's expected to top the last Type RS 306 bhp and also sport a 6-speed annual gearbox.